I have indeed. Look at this everyone, a very big water monitor. Wow, this is a big one. This is a very, very big one. And I'm actually going to move out the way a little bit because it's walking up the road. And I'm just going to move a little bit out the road because I think he wants to head towards some water. So let's see if I move a little bit further back, he might keep coming up the road. There, is, there we go. He's coming, he's coming. Now this is a huge monitor lizard. I'm going to give him some more space. Let's sit quietly and watch him. There we go. Still walking. This is so much fun and so exciting. Now these monitor lizards actually cover quite a big distance between water holes, but I've never seen one walking during the day like this at this time of the day, right through the, the clearings. But look how big he is. Wow. This is probably one of the biggest water monitors I've ever seen. This is so cool. There he goes. This is, I must be honest everyone, and this is quite rare to see a big one like this walking on the road. There he goes. Isn't that incredible? See how its tongue is darting in and out? That's how the monitor lizard it uses it basically as a sense of smell. Um, well, it picks up scent in the air. So any smell that it would be interested in working out what it is, that's what it picks up. Ah, oh, this is really special. We don't often see big monitor lizards like this walking around. This one's huge, very big. Oh, I think it's going to be moving off soon. Most likely going to try and head towards some water. Well, wow, that was a nice surprise, wasn't that great? Not going to disturb him too much. I was happy to walk along the road. Well, that was really awesome. I'm so glad we got to see him. Wow. So we have two species of monitor lizards, a big rock monitor and then a water monitor. They look quite similar, but the water monitor tend to, tends to get a little bit longer and obviously because of the name, it lives in the water. That's what it prefers. And the rock monitor lives in thicker areas with the big trees and also rocky areas. That's what the area or the habitat that they like to live in. So it was nice to see this one. So Jordan, they're not too fast, the monitor lizards. If you chase them, they probably run quite quickly along the ground, but they're not, uh, they're not incredibly fast, I wouldn't say. Um, I think we would, we would run faster than a monitor lizard, to be honest. But they can move quite quickly, and they use that big tail of theirs as a whip. If they feel threatened, they will use their tail and whip it from side to side and smack whatever predator it is trying to go for it. They've also got a very powerful bite, so you don't want to get bitten by any of them because it can probably cause quite a bit of damage or, or cut you very badly. They've got sharp teeth, and they'll be able to cause a bit of damage.